Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix book illustrated by Jim K. Now this book was released yesterday, October 11th, and I received my copy late last night. So I wanted to hop on here today and do the unboxing so that we can experience it together. Now I do currently own the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and the Goblet of Fire from this same edition. And I did order the Prisoner of Azkaban, but it is on back order. So it should be here sometime around October 18th or 19th. But I didn't want to have to wait till then to open the Order of the Phoenix book on camera. So I decided to just go ahead and open it today. And then I'll just post on Instagram or Twitter when I receive the Prisoner of Azkaban book. But if you're not familiar with this edition, it is an illustrated edition by, like I said, Jim K. And this one is the Sorcerer's Stone and this one is the chamber of secrets now these books are absolutely beautiful i would say from the books that i have seen so far these are my second favorite illustrated editions i would say my first ones are my mina lima books which i think you can see up there right there those for sure are like my favorite but these are close seconds um, but I did want to purchase these because it was said on Twitter that Jim K will no longer be illustrating books six and seven. So I wanted to get my hands on a book one through five so that I can have those. And yeah, so if you're interested in seeing book number five of this illustrated series, then keep on watching. Now, The Order of the Phoenix is, and I know a lot of people might not feel this way, but for me, I think The Order of the Phoenix is one of my favorite movies. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite favorite because, to be honest, it's so hard to just choose one. But I feel like The Order of the Phoenix is definitely right there on top for me. So let's see what this looks like. I'm scared. Of using this okay so now I will say one of my concerns is that the box is a little bit dinged on this side here but I don't think it was because of the delivery person because we do have cameras in our house and we did see that he placed it very softly on the ground so I'm guessing that's just from the shipping one thing that is I guess not a bad like a con or anything but the book cover that does come outside of these books tends to be a little bit fragile and it does get dinged up and wrinkled a little bit. However, you can remove it if you want to, if you want to display them just with the interior cover. But let's see how, what condition this one, oh, I love it. I already love it. I haven't even taken it out and I already love it. Oh my God, it is so heavy. I just, I can't imagine what books six and seven are gonna be like but here it is oh this is nice you guys are getting a first look at it before i do now let me see because i know in the back jk rowling writes a message to jim and in the first ones it's been the same one and it says seeing jim k's illustration moved me profoundly I love his interpretation of Harry Potter world and I feel honored and grateful that he has lent his talent to it. And in this one it says, I love seeing Jim Kay's interpretation of Harry Potter's world. I feel honored and grateful that he continues to lend his talent to it. So basically the same message. Now in this one you'll see that it says it's illustrated by Jim Kay and Neil Parker. So I suspect, and this is not official or anything, but I suspect that by the time they were illustrating this specific book, they already knew that Jim would no longer do six and seven. So they brought in another illustrator to kind of get the feel of the illustration style for these books because every single person has like their own style of illustrations, right? If you look at these books and you were to take, for example, the Mina Lima books, you'd see like how absolutely different they are. 
And I suspect that in order for six and seven to be maybe as similar as possible to one through five without maybe being exact, but still similar. So it still feels like a cohesive set. They probably brought him in now so that he can kind of get a feel of what the style is like. But I love the lettering in this like greenish blue. If you look at the other ones, each one is a little bit different. This one is more on the gold side. The Chamber of Secrets is more of a redder foiled lettering. And then if you see the Goblet of Fire, it's more of an orange. These are so heavy. It's more like of an orange lettering. So this one they went with blue, which makes sense because here is where, you know, everybody's discovering their Patronus. We have here like a uh, image of them in the room of requirements, learning their spells. I can imagine this would be Hermione and Cho Chang right here with Harry. And it is so nice. It is so heavy though. Now this one specifically I paid, I want to say it was about $35 for it because it is the latest versions for the other ones. I paid around $21 to $23 for them because they are later versions and of course, you know, their pricing is a little bit less, but these books for those prices are amazing. Like, it's just amazing. Now, this is what I was saying about the covers. This paperback cover can be very delicate, so... If you're not careful, it's very easy for it to get like wrinkled and dinged up, even with just normal movement, like just by me moving it here back and forth. This is already here, like bending a little bit. But once you have them like settled down and all like flat, it does fix itself up. But if you're like overly cautious about that, then you might want to keep that in mind. Now, I do wish they would have included the artwork on the actual cover of the book. Just in case the book cover gets a little bit too messed up, you still have like that artwork here, but they don't. However, each one of these books has their own specific color. This one is yellow. Goblet of Fire is blue. Chamber of Secrets is orange and the Saucer or Philosopher's Stone is red and they all do have the title in their foiling color on the spine so if you decide to display these books on your shelf without the cover at some point they will also look really nice as well where these books really shine is in the inside in the illustration there's no doubt that these are just beautiful here on the inside of the cover you have a picture of grimald place and like i said i guess i'm not very concerned of jim k not illustrating six and seven because i have no doubt that whoever takes on the task is going to do a great job now here is this beautiful image here of a patronus like you can see there and again if you look at these you know the pages are very nice and glossy the illustrations are beautiful. It is a very, very high quality book, no doubt. Um, and for the price, I would say you are really getting a beautiful item for the price. I only paid, I paid like $30, $35 for this one, which is amazing because this is a really, really big, heavy, heavy book. Um, so I think you're really getting your money's worth from these. And if you have anyone who is a Harry Potter fan, a friend, family, or anyone that you're looking to give something to, this would definitely be a good option. Or if you're like me and you just like to collect different Harry Potter books or versions, this is also a great option. I don't really use these or my Mina Lima books to actually read because I want to keep them in as best condition as I can. I do use my other little book set here to read if I have to, or most of the time I just listen to the audiobooks because it is 
easier for me since I'm working. I can always just listen to that while I'm at work or while I am on my way to work. So these pretty much just live on my shelf as part of my collection. But these are just beautiful. This is such an amazing book series. So overall, I would say if you're thinking about getting these, don't think about it twice. Go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. Let me go ahead and put it back in its book cover. And oh, also, I just saw it now. These books also come with an integrated bookmark here. Let me pull it out gently. So they have their own integrated bookmark. So if you're reading, you can go ahead and mark your page without having to have like a separate bookmark. So that's like a nice little touch as well. And overall, they're just a really, really nice collection to have. And actually here inside the book cover, it says the price is $54.99. Now I know I got these on Amazon and I know on Amazon they were running some type of discount where they had a certain percentage off. So the regular price might be a little bit higher where you're located or once the sale ends. But I think for now, like as of the recording of this video, the sale is still ongoing. So if you're interested, I would say go and get them now but here it is one more time the harry potter and the order of the phoenix book illustrated by jim k and in this case neil parker as well so let me know what you think about these down below are you interested in getting them do you have this collection what are your thoughts is there any other series that you think i should look at I like collecting these books, especially if they're illustrated. It's just so nice to see how different artists can interpret these stories. If you haven't seen the Mina Lima books, I would definitely advise you see those. I can make a video on those as well. And I know that next year they're going to be releasing the Prisoner of Azkaban from that series. So I'm definitely jumping on that bandwagon. Um... And who knows, I might even be able to pick it up in person because I am planning a trip to the UK. Hopefully it works out. So yeah, that's all that I had for this video. Here are all them together. All these together are going to be so heavy. Like, look at that. And that's just four of them. I still have one more on the way. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really nice to unbox it with you guys. Um, and now I'm going to go show it to my husband because he loves this specific series. My favorite is Mina Lima, but for him, I know this is his favorite. So I know he's excited to go see what that looks like. And I haven't let him see it because I was like, no, we can't open it yet till I don't record the video. So now that I have seen it and you guys have seen it, I'm going to go ahead and show it to him so that he can enjoy it as well. So thank you so much for joining me in this unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one.